It's not quite time for Nakakan yet. Oh man, it's just right around the corner though, getting close. We gotta get on the ball. We've got some other things that we've gotta take care of. There's a lot to be done yet. Maybe you'll be able to try this at home if you need to figure out what you gotta do to make your cosplay come out the way you need it to. It's a pretty good experiment, so. Oh, hell no! I can't believe it, dude. I've been looking for you for literally, like, years, man. Flashy. I have an event coming up that I've got some really big plans for, but in order to make those plans happen, I'm gonna have to do something a little bit different this year. I'm gonna have to cosplay, which is something I've never done before, and, you know, since I'm not that good of a seamstress or... A is that, is that the right word? Seamstress? Does that work for me? Uh, Taylor? I don't know. Taylor? Seamstress? I'm not the best person at sewing. Uh, I guess we could put it that way. I mean, I'm not bad, but uh, you know, this is uh, this is kind of a big deal. So, thanks, mom. And now that the costume's all put together, it looks amazing. The the problem with it is that it looks too amazing. I mean, I need to make it look uh, older and weathered and not so brand new. So, we got some scrap fabrics from the the costume that we're gonna try and see what happens with some some different solutions of bleach. So we'll cut the different fabrics into some little squares and mix up our solutions. We'll let them soak for a little while, then take them out and compare the color results. This is a very simple test that you can do at home if you're undergoing the same process, trying to figure out how strong of a bleach solution do I need to use in order to get the effect that I'm trying to get from these fabrics. I used 100 milliliters of water in each container and then I added increments of 5 milliliters of bleach solution. So the first one had 5, the second one 10, the third one 15, etc. Which I figured would be pretty close to the right concentration range.
All right, so this blue fabric, it's a type of linen, I'm pretty sure. This stuff, wow, man, bleach and, and this stuff does not get along. This is a small piece of the blue fabric that I just put into a beaker of water for a control, and this is the fabric that was in the lowest concentrated bleach solution. <laughs> Big difference. This is in the most concentrated bleach solution. You can see that it's really washed out pretty much all the color, and uh, it's a very nice watermelon look to it now. So this fabric interacts very strongly with bleach. The bleach really strips the color out of it and has a very drastic effect. We'll need to be careful when we're working with this type of fabric just to make sure that we don't strip the color out too much. After all, it does need to still be blue, not, not red. The whitish looking material, it's uh, actually a pretty off-white. It's not very white. Um, I had something white to, here's the paper towel. You can kind of see that there's a little bit different shade there. So it's off-white to begin with and after soaking it in the bleach solutions we got quite a bit of a difference you can really see the difference between the the, the white and the off-white now it was actually able to brighten this one so it worked really well for the natural type fabrics the synthetic fabrics didn't really have as drastic of a change in fact there really wasn't much change at all regardless of the concentration of bleach solution that I put these two fabrics into they didn't really change they didn't really affect it very much at all so if I need to remove any of that color or fade those in any way, bleach is not the right solution. We'll have to find some other way to do that. But all in all, I would call that a successful test. We were able to test the different fabrics and we got some pretty good results. We found out that the blue fabric, really sensitive to bleach. The uh, off-white will actually brighten some if you use the bleach. Not necessarily the look I'm going for with this, but uh, good to know. And the synthetics didn't change much at all, so uh, We'll have to find a different way to, to fade these if we need to. All right, so thanks for coming along on this journey. We were able to uh, conduct a very simple little experiment to find out how bleach interacts with some different fabrics. And I'm working on a couple of other videos that are kind of right along the same lines as this. They're uh, cosplay development videos. I never really realized how difficult some of this can be and how time consuming it really is. And this year I'm gonna have my go at it and see, uh, see what this whole cosplay thing's all about. But I think it's all worth it and it should come out to be a pretty exciting time for NakaCon this year. Yeah, and there should be a couple really cool videos that come out of this. So thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you might hit that subscribe button. Like I said, we're gonna do some other crazy cosplay videos and there's always sketchy science going down on this channel. So you might enjoy that as well. Hopefully I'll see you around here again in the future. And aside from that, I'll catch you guys next time.